low RP is for the, the instructors. Uh, so what they did was they you know, took the, the Arctic uh, tents. I'm not picking it up. Uh, 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 track uh, Yeah. So the uh, track plan uh, being uh, going uh, in this way, or depending on which way the enemy is moving from, or ideally if they're coming this way. We just transfer this to this, and send it to the yeah. reg. And then what it has also allowed us to do. And they're just, they're just, they can't see you, but they're seeing you in the spectrum. And they know Signal. you're going out inboard of this track. They would be in this track, so there'd be like a tent maybe right in here. Okay. But any time you traverse through this position, you're always on, you're always on this track. And there may okay. be at your okay. pea tree. And the, the outside looks like no Your observation for anybody coming right. is, is doing so this way, this way, if somebody's walking by, there's some random tracks out here. Like, it's, it's a pretty good, I, I recommend at least just uh, trying. Yeah. Especially if you guys have been out a while because they're steep. Yeah. Tail off in, you know, southern Philippines. Or, oh, this is better. You know, freeze out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not when you, that's not when you want to have your own, your own, your, you don't want gunny taking more More building. Yeah. 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 private, probably. So that one yeah. 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 Like count cars coming down a road that were turning, so they weren't worried about like the long stretch or like the, the road that was actually being turned onto. They were working. I mean, you guys were not taking the same. You know, I gave this whole speech about you know, safe, effective training. In a particular way that allows us to get in certain information that we can't with other sources, right? So that's how I think about it. That's how you think about it. But uh, they kind of go to. Set up. So I'm, I'm, of course, and everybody wants to know about the aspect. They're all scared of the aspect. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. My name is Staff Sergeant Shear. I'm a team leader with 3rd Reconnaissance Battalion, Alpha Company 3rd Platoon. And right now we're just out here trying to integrate with the Japanese Intel Platoon in order to create ORPs and OPs, uh, what best link up plan we can do for them. Uh, in our pair operations later in the future. The flat terrain, probably. Uh, what, what we're used to is mountainous terrain in Bridgeport, and it's a lot flatter here, so you, it's a lot more difficult to um, ski through this type of wooded environment versus the mountains where it's open. I think it's great for the Marines to figure out what it's like to be cold and how to survive in this kind of environment, because fighting in this environment as opposed to the desert has its own challenges, like making water and keeping um, your clothes dry is an essential task to learn. My name is Captain Chris Mallon. I am a platoon commander for 3rd Reconnaissance Battalion. The training we're conducting is cold weather familiarization, ski training, OP and ORP construction. So we are uh, developing some new platoon SOPs to be able to sustain for upwards of 72 to 96 hours without a resupply. The first concern and the, really the, the major issue that we have is body uh, temperature regulation. With the movements that we're doing and the weight that we're carrying, it's very easy to get very hot very quickly. And then uh, once we stop moving, the sun goes down, uh, the temperature plummets, and it's, it's easy to get cold quick. So using the proper layers um, and down dressing and up dressing when needed has been the number one problem. Uh, the best part about coming out here is it's a completely different environment that we've never been exposed to before. Coming from Okinawa, a tropical island, and moving through the jungle, this environment brings a completely different perspective uh, and can changes our SOPs when it comes to survivability. Um, so that's been really the most positive experience, especially with working with our Japanese counterparts and learning what their uh, standard operating procedures are uh, to be able to survive in this area.